Classes teaching enthusiasts the art of a pastime most associated with the Victorians are growing in demand. Part of the craft of taxidermy is learning how to sort of um, work with things the way they are because not every animal is going to be absolutely perfect. These students are learning how to prepare, stuff and present dead mice. I studied science in the first place and I'm really interested in, in animals and things. And um, I also like doing art, so the two combined seem perfect. I've obviously grown up on Disney films, they use animals a lot, so I'd like to make this a little Disney character if I can. The classes are so popular, more lessons are being laid on to meet demand. It's thought to be down to a renewed interest in all things Victorian. One trend among amateurs is that of anthropomorphic taxidermy, which basically means dressing animals to look and pose like humans. But professional artists like Polly Morgan, who uses taxidermy in her work and who's exhibited alongside the likes of Damien Hirst, thinks the art form is now in danger of becoming gimmicky. But some of the classes are trading slightly on the shock factor and the gore factor, and I think that's a bit of a cheap shot, really, particularly when people like myself and other traditional taxidermists have spent quite a long time trying to show these animals in a sensitive light. The laws around how taxidermists get hold of their animals are strict in the UK. They're not allowed to use any that might have died in suspicious circumstances. So if you were to find a cat lying dead by the side of the road, that's OK to use. But if that cat had a bullet wound, that would be deemed illegal to use. At this curiosity shop in East London, which claims to have several famous celebrities among its customers, sales are up. There's definitely been a rise in customers recently, uh, very female dominated, which I put down to two things, to Alexander McQueen and Damien Hirst in the other 2000, recontextualising taxidermy as, a, as an arts and fashion movement rather than a dusty thing you find in an old hotel. The neo-Victorian trend may not be to everyone's taste, but the newfound respect for taxidermy might just see the practice promoted from weird and ghoulish to inspiring and even modern. Gemma Morris, Sky News.